What's up? Today we're going to be taking a deeper look at the Xgrid's Lixel L2 Pro. Now we've already got a video on what this thing can do from a high level, but in this video we're going to do a deeper dive into the technical side. Setup, capturing, processing, and even how to integrate the 3D scan into Unreal Engine 5. Let's go. But before we get to this, the finished product, let's show you what unboxing the Lixel L2 Pro looks like from above. All right, let's get into what's inside the box. This big case is what the Xgrids comes in. I haven't opened this yet, so let's open it together and see what's inside. Oh, you guys get to see first. I can't see what's up here. Let me. All right, so what we've got in here is some power cables, more extended power cables. I believe that this is a cap. The handle, more cables, hinge for the phone, the Xgrids itself in a nice, really nice kind of silicone case, very safe, very secure. More cables. These are the calibration targets for when you set it up initially. Extra screws and the base plate. Now that everything is out of the box, let's lay it out and see what we got here. Whoa, this thing is heavy duty. Slides off like that. Whoa. Wow. It's got the three cameras, LiDAR scanner that spins spot for your phone. I believe that this is where handles hitches in and I'll hitch it in right now. Kind of slides in nicely, slides in. Then you, there's this little latch here that you can lock. Now we're locked in, look at that. Next I'll go for the base plate, which is just a very basic screw on the bottom that connects to the handle. Once I line this up, it should be quite easy. There we go. Now I can set it down, no hands, and it's looking real impressive. Wow, that is amazing. It comes with a nice little terry cloth to wipe off the fingerprints that I've already put on it. And you've got yourself a phone holder. This is what it looks like fully built all together and it's ready for use. The build quality of the L2 Pro is really solid. It's got a really nice metallic finish to it. Everything feels really solid, even this base plate, there's no flex to it. And a convenient part of this build is how you can break it down, throw it in the case and travel with it. This feels robust, it feels professional. If I were to show up on a job site with this, looks like I know what I'm doing, especially when it starts to spin. So yeah, in terms of setup, this is pretty much it. All you need to do is download the Xgrid software on your computer, plug the machine into your laptop, load the software, and then you're ready to go. No extra drivers, no hoops to jump through. That's it, you're ready to scan. When the Xgrid gets used out in the wild, that's where things get interesting. We've used this scanner in the downtown area of our city of Winnipeg. And the process goes like this. Set up the scanner on your phone. Walk the path of the objects or place you'd like to scan and let the scanner do its thing. Quite literally, it's that easy. Xgrids uses a combination of LiDAR and photogrammetry. So you're getting two data sets. You're getting the geometry and the texture data all in one scan. And you'll see the live point cloud building on your laptop or on your phone in real time as you move through 3D space. Okay, so we've captured our scan. Now it's time to process it. After capturing, we plug the Xgrids directly into our computer. We allow it to process in the Lixel Cyber Color app we downloaded from their website. Processing time will vary based on the size of your scan. Next, we'll export it as an LCC and import it into Unreal Engine 5. Again, the Xgrid software does the heavy lifting here. It aligns frames, meshes the point cloud, and fills any small gaps in your scan. Now, don't get me wrong, you'll still want to do some cleanup, but the Xgrids does a pretty good job right out the box. Xgrids supports standard 3D formats like OBJ and FBX, so the scans are flexible across many use cases. It's being used for 3D modeling, city planning, architectural drawings, a whole lot of different use cases. Our use case is filmmaking, where we plan on taking these scans, importing them into a 3D software, and then using that virtual background to shoot instead of using green screen. To do that, we need to import this data into Unreal Engine 5. Now, once it's in, you can relight it or retouch it just like you would with any other mesh in Unreal Engine. And then you can use your mesh as your environment or as your previs or as a reference for more building in Unreal Engine. So that's the Xgrid scanner from setup to UE5. It's portable, it's pretty easy to use, and the pipeline from real world to virtual world in Unreal Engine is pretty smooth. So shout out to the Exchange District here in Winnipeg for allowing us to scan the whole thing. And thank you for watching our process of using the Xgrid's Lixel L2 Pro.